Hi, welcome to another photo link video. Uh, this is this is the one I know that you're all worth waiting for. This is the last one on the um, faux images or in integrating um, um, uh, picture not 3.0 and GIMP. What we're going to do right now is we've just taken an HDR image in from um, uh, picture not. Um, we've saved it as a TIF an 8-bit and load it up into GIMP. Um, you can load a 16-bit uh, TIF into GIMP, but what you'll do is you'll get a warning dialog and it will start clipping things. So you want to convert it to 8-bit prior to loading it in. But basically, uh, when you're dealing with a, um, a uh, you know, an HDR that's been taken out of picture or not, the only thing that really you'd have to do is perhaps sharpen a little bit uh, put a little bit more of an S in the uh, levels uh, to give it a little bit not or excuse me a little bit more of an S in curves um, to give it a little bit more of a pop to it. Uh, perhaps increase your local contrast and your sharpness. But what I know that you're mainly interested in doing is getting that semi radioactive effect that everybody is so interested in in uh, HDR and actually confuses the exact purpose of HDR. HDR is to improve the dynamic range of an image and not basically to, uh, to create an image with all kinds of wild colors. So basically, but what we're going to do now is we're going to create one of these images with the wild colors. They call them faux um, HDRs. And, um, you know, that's F-A-U-X uh, for more than a better term. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up to my Layers dialog, which is right here, and I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to select that layer, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my Colors, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a desaturate on that layer. Okay, we can do it on Lightness. And then what I'd also like to do is after I do that um, desaturation, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my colors and I'm going to invert that layer. And now to give it a nicer effect, I can come up to my, uh, my filters and uh, go to artistic. And uh, what I can do is I can employ a soft glow. Since this is a large image, let's increase this to about a 15. And I'll say OK. Now what it's going to do is apply a soft glow to this image, this layer. Now the purpose of doing this is kind of to enhance my um, uh, local contrast slightly and in addition to that uh, also give it sort of a dreamy blur type effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this back to about a 7, well maybe a 78. Uh, then what I'm going to do is change the layer mode on this from normal to soft light. And if you'll notice, it has enhanced my image quite a bit. So maybe even a little bit too much. So what I'll do is I'll turn this down slightly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my image and tell it to merge visible layers. Expand as necessary. And merge. So this basically flattens the uh, layers. Now to get that special a radioactive look to my HDR, I have to do nothing more than come down into Levels. And in my Levels, what I want to do is bring this back substantially and bring this over substantially. And we're almost there. 
Please don't judge. This is a technique. It's not a piece of artwork yet. So now I'm going to bring those in. And now what I can do is I can change my mid-range slider to create a kind of effect. that I want. And there, presto, uh, for all you people that want a faux HDR, that is basically how it's done. Well, listen, I thank you. Uh, here, let me close this and let's look at it. I'm going to click OK. Let's move this out of the way. So it's basically uh, you're enhancing mid-range contrast, and what you're doing is uh, playing with your levels control. You're moving your black point in and uh, your white point out. Uh, you can also play with contrast and several other effects. Um, in fact, let's do that real quick. We'll come up to Filters and Enhance. And let's go to Wavelet Sharpen. And we'll, we'll say OK. This might give us a good effect, or it might not. But it will definitely make the image look a lot more faux HDR looking. And it did. Listen, thank you for watching. If you have an image that you would like to work on, please send it to uh, J-O-E-G at photolink, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. Uh, and please visit my site, which is www photo link, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. And uh, enjoy yourself and good luck with your uh, uh, faux um, HDRs. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.